asking me here. Hold on, I think there might be something in the options that... Hold on, sorry guys. I swear this wasn't happening before. Hopefully that sort of thing doesn't continue happening. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm using like a debug version of Dolphin, so things are going to go a little bit slower. Because debug Dolphin, there's a lot more in it, so execution is a little bit slower. Depending on like the speed of your computer, but it really doesn't matter. You're using debug features, you're not playing in debug mode, so let's go to Destination. So I need to figure out what function subtracts a stock when I die. And to do that, first I'm going to go to this memory address that we have written down. Okay, <laughs> need to switch to lightning melee, it really doesn't matter, but... Oh, I know what's going on. It's big. And add this. So, so we know that this memory address holds um, Link's stock account. In this case, uh, his stock is six, right here. So, what we want to do is, when the game makes changes to this address, we want to stop the program's execution to figure out like exactly what function in the code is making changes to this address. Um, so. I'm going to copy this memory address, go over to breakpoints, add a memory breakpoint, and have it check this address, and read or set it to break when that address is hit. Um, we can choose read or write here. Do we want it to break when it reads from the address, or do we want it to break when it writes to the address? Um, Either would work. I'll, I'll do right for now. So now, it's keeping. What it's doing is it's keeping it. You can see the blue square here. It's constantly looking at this memory address to see if there's changes to it. And as soon as something about it changes, it's going to pause the game and let me look at like the line of code that causes that change. So I'm just going to run off and die here. And right when I do that, the game pauses. Um, the it pauses like on the frame that I died so you don't see like Link dying right now but because the frame hasn't updated yet but um, if I refresh this you can see that the memory has already changed to 5 so like I lost a stock and the game paused at precisely the spot oh I have to generate a symbol app again it paused at precisely the spot that caused that to happen um, or it usually like pauses a little bit after the fact. Um, I'm actually going to change something real quick here. <clears throat> I'm going to make this an E because we're technically um, looking at that address. So, let me die again, see if this works. Alright. Um, the game
game pauses right when I die. And so we are looking at... Um, let me move this over a little bit. We are... Uh, hold on. I have to add my screen regions again. So, uh, we are currently on this line of code, where the green bar is, and you can already see some of the uh, functions that I went over. Here is a BL, which is branch and link, so um, it's going to branch over to like whatever function is at this, this address. Um, we have a compare immediate here, so this compare register 3 to 0. We have a branch of equal, so if register 3 equals 0, then it's going to branch to some other address. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on here that we can like sort of understand. We don't know what any of this code does yet, but we're going to like we're going to analyze it a little bit um, and kind of try to figure out what stuff does. Now, um, if you noticed in in memory, um, like I already lost my stock here. So if we want to mess with the function that subtracts a stock, well, that already happened. And so we need to actually back up a little bit um, in the code uh, in order to find that function. So back over to code. This is my current line right here. So I'm going to just take a guess, and maybe it was this previous line of code. Whenever it branches to this function, that function might control like the subtracting of the stock or whatever. So I kind of just need to look into this function and figure out what's going on. Um, now, like my my code, like this function was already passed, and if I like step, then it's just going to continue moving on in code. Um, there's no way of backtracking. Like you can't step backwards; you can only step forwards. So what I want to do is I'm going to set a breakpoint here, and that means that next time that this line of code is executed it's going to pause and it'll let me check it out so um, now that we found this area we don't we don't need the previous breakpoint anymore that I set so I'm just gonna just so you can see um, which was the memory breakpoint I'm gonna go ahead and delete that but the one that we just set is still here so um, this is this is our breakpoint this is a function that like th there's, there's a lot of guessing in assembly um, and I'm kind of just guessing that this might be like the thing that subtracts a stock. Um, and Musnet said that um, this value right here, which compares register three to zero, that might actually be like the the check to see if somebody won the game, like if it's checking if the stock is zero. And I can go and check that um, in a sense if we go to registers here. I can look for the register that might hold the stock count. Um, register three is like equal to one right now. It's not equal to five, which is or four, which is my current stock count. So that may or may not have to do with like a game winning condition. Um, there's really like I don't know. You you really have to experiment, and you can like modify registers on the fly and like change the the code's execution point and like see what happens when you like do different stuff in the code. Um, but but anyway, I, I set this breakpoint here because I want to explore this function right here, and I'm hoping that that's the function that controls like the subtracting of a stock. So I'm going to resume execution here, and I'll die one more time. And hold on, my breakpoint didn't hit. Dolphin can be a little bit buggy with breakpoints sometimes, so... Um, Either, like, this line is not executing, or, like, it's just not hitting the breakpoint. I'll just set all those, anyway. There we go. Okay, so, just step forward a little bit. So, this is the function that we're interested in. As soon as I click step, it's going to branch over to, like, a different spot in code. Um... And it's going to link, meaning it, it remembers where we are, and it's going to jump back here when it's done with that function. So I'm going to step in, and you can see I'm at like a completely different spot in code. Now, right now is a good time to check my registers, and 
um, see which registers like might hold the stock value. So I'm going to go over to registers. Um, and right now I think I have two stocks. And just looking through, um, it doesn't look like there are any registers that hold the value of two yet anyway. So I'm going to step forward a little bit. And I'm just going to keep an eye on like instructions that... Um, instructions that uh, load values into memory or load uh, memory values into like registers so here's some storing stuff um, here's a move register here's a branch uh, here's a comparison and a branch um, here's some multiplication add now here's one LBZ that stands for load byte and zero um, LWZ which I went over was load word and zero so this is another function that it's going to look at the address in register 4, um, which in this case is um, 8045.3080. That's the address in R4. And it's going to load the byte that exists at offset 8E from, from that address. And it's going to load that into register 3. So let me step past this, and I'm interested in seeing what gets loaded into register 3 here. So I'm going to check my registers again. And this is interesting because register 3 is, is 3 right now and I'm at 3 stocks. So we may very well have like found the line of code that loads our stock account into a register. And so we can presume that, well the game wants to subtract a stock so it's probably going to manipulate this in some way like subtracting one from it and then storing it back into memory. And so, why don't we see if we can find what's happening here. Um, some random function that I didn't go over. And we want to be careful. I want to see if, like, registers are affected in any way. Um, in this case, it looks like register 3 was copied to register 0. They both have 3. So I want to keep an eye on both of them to see if, like, any of them are being changed in any way. Um... Okay, that branch did not execute branch if less than or equal to. It skipped over that because that condition did not hold true for, for whatever reason. Um, don't know why. But anyway, now let's look at this line. This is subtract, subtract immediate. So it's essentially taking R3, subtracting 1, and storing the result in register 0. So this is interesting because that's exactly what happens when you die and a stock gets lost. Register 3 is 3. And so when I execute this line of code, step, it subtracts 1 from 3 and it stores the result into register 0. So now we have a count of 2. And so we might have found the exact line of code that's responsible for subtracting your stock count when you die. So that's really, really cool. Um, and then right after this you can see that stb's store byte it's now storing r0 back into that spot well hold on sorry um anyway um you can see with uh store byte that we are storing register 0 into that exact spot that we originally loaded it from So after we execute this, it stores it. So we can look at these lines of code. Um, starting from here, it loads your stock count into register 3. It performs this function, which more or less copies it over to register 0, which is unnecessary in, in, in this case. Um, and it skips this over this branch. But then it subtracts 1 from register 3 and it stores the result into register 0. 